know, if you want to invite friends over to your house, but it's too small, or your friends are too large, you got two options. Move to a bigger place, or put an addition on your current one. Now, I don't know a lot about buying real estate. <laughs> but I do have an idea for an addition that's fast, easy, and best of all, requires no construction. That's right, we're talking prefab. <laughs> now, prefab comes from the Latin phrase prefabricatumus. Pre means before, and I believe fabricatumus means think things through. So before you think things through, get yourself a few rolls of duct tape and a little imagination. Oh yeah, and a bus. Hope you're not thinking things through. Remember, prefab. Now this is probably not the ideal seating configuration for your guests, unless it's the playoffs. So we're gonna just rearrange the seats. my chainsaw. Four. Okay, after you carefully remove the bolts, you can start rearranging the seats. For example, if your guests want to stay overnight, you need to give them somewhere to sleep. Oh sure, they could just sleep on the seats, but with a touch of creativity, we can give them something a little more comfortable. The built-in bedsides prevent them from falling out and prevent you from seeing something you're not supposed to. And of course, this unit has an ensuite bathroom. But here again, a couple of seats placed just right. They're gonna give your guests a little privacy and prevent you from seeing something you really don't want to. Okay, as you can see, I've put up some classical pieces of art here and instead of all the ads. Because you don't need people selling this stuff in your own home. <laughs> Unless it's on TV, which I fully support. I also recommend you keep a couple of these chrome poles just in case an exotic dancer drops by. Who am I kidding? Turn them into pole lamps. Of course, the key to the whole design is to have the bus door line up with the house door. It makes them separate yet together. Kind of like Canada and Quebec. <laughs> I guess that makes these French doors. Huh? <laughs> oh, here's another bonus. Your dog can let himself out. And the dining area is really spectacular. Well, maybe not spectacular. Rectangular, probably a better word. Here again, we just move a bus seat here or there, line them up just so. Throw a folding table into the center of the configuration, and suddenly, it's not just a dining table, it's a booth. <laughs> and the nice thing about eating here, you don't have to shout yourself hoarse calling everybody to dinner. <laughs> Next stop, supper. <laughs> but you gotta admit, this prefab edition has a lot of attractive features. So remember, women don't find you handsome. They should at least find you handy. And here's the best part. If you have guests arrive who aren't particularly welcome, you just hit the gas and turn this addition into a subtraction. Hey, Red Green here with a message for my friends in America. I know there's been a rumor going around that my new one-man show, How to Do Everything, is only for Canada. Uh, but you're not getting off that easy. I'm bringing it to the states in the spring of 2014. Don't know exactly where I'm going yet, but I know 11 states for sure so far. Ohio, Pennsylvania, New York, Michigan, Indiana, Wisconsin, Minnesota, South Dakota, Iowa, Washington, and even Alaska. There'll be lots more to come, so keep checking redgreen.com, find out exactly where I'm going to be, and hopefully you and I can meet up there. Looking forward to seeing you in the spring of 2014.